time to dish with D. That's me. It's time for another recipe. I know, two days in a row. Crazy. I am making a turkey bouillonnaise. I thought, hey, I might as well show the peeps. So let's see what we need for this turkey bouillonnaise. Okay. I'm using a can of crushed tomatoes, a pack of lean turkey, a pack of ronzoni. I think it's the 150. Yeah. Thin spaghetti and my aromatics. My aromatics consist of one large carrot, a cup and a half of diced onion, and about two ribs of celery diced. Yes, this is the key to my bouillonnaise. Now let's get started cooking. All right, we got our skillet on pretty high heat. We're gonna take a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Yes, I use a whole tablespoon in this because the turkey's pretty dry and you wanna give it some moisture. Our vegetables will give us a lot, but can't hurt. It's only four points, people. Dump your veg. In. And we're going to saute these for about five minutes so they get a little color on them. And then we're going to throw in our turkey and brown that. And I will bring you back when the vegetables are what I call just slightly tender. Okay, you can see how they're getting tender. The onions are getting translucent. The carrots, you know, they're just going to get tender. They're not going to get translucent. And the celery gets a little translucent. That's exactly where I want it to be. We still have to put our meat in there and they still have to cook for quite a long time. Okay, we're now going to add our lean ground turkey. Just chop it up. Right now I'm going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. We will continue to season after each layer. Now sometimes I add turkey sausage to this but I don't have any right now but I think that makes a great addition yes it will cost points but you know what sometimes sometimes it's worth it sometimes you need that little extra fat in there to give it a little nice little it doesn't add many points when you're talking about how much we're going to make of this but yes and then you need a little extra fat you can see I don't think you can see how dry it is there's no grease whatsoever in the pan so yeah, the turkey sausage would add a little bit of a layer of fat to this. So you can keep till you get it all brown, or at least semi-brown, because this is going to cook a while. So you don't need to um, make sure it's all brown because we're not going to eat it <laughs> for a while. All right, and I can see there's no way, no reason to drain. There's not nothing here, completely dry. Okay. This will continue to cook. We just got it all broken up. Get all those big chunks. If there's big chunks of turkey, so it's all nicely combined. Okay. Now we're going to add our, we'll do this first, I think, garlic. I'm going to do a tablespoon. I can always add more. I'm going to do a teaspoon and a half. Tablespoon and a half, sorry. Of minced garlic. And I didn't mention this in the beginning, but Yep, my handy dandy tomato paste. Two tablespoons. Okay. Spread all that out. Mmm, smells really good in here already. We haven't really done much. And our can of crushed tomatoes. And I always add a little bit of water to rinse out the can. Probably about, about a half a cup. Give it a swish and pour it in. Mm. 
Okay, we're gonna let that cook a little bit before we add our. Well, I guess we could we could add our seasonings now. I don't think it really matters. Okay, I'm going to add the fine work. Oh, here, just poultry seasoning. Why you ask poultry seasoning? Because we have poultry in here. That's why. <laughs> I mean, you could add it all separately, but I think poultry seasoning works good. I'm going to do a teaspoon. Again, I will taste it. Now, if I think it needs more, I could always add it back. Add more in. You can never take out. Because sometimes you buy spices or you have them in your cabinet. And it might not be as fresh. So that one is actually brand new. I'm going to add a little bit more salt. This is my favorite, as I always say, the Chilean smoked salt and some fresh if I had white pepper I probably would use white pepper but I don't have any white pepper because I think white pepper goes so much better with white meat than I'd think black pepper does okay and I'm actually gonna put a pinch of rub sage just a little bit not even a teaspoon there we go And you're still on a pretty moderately high heat right now. But I'm going to lower it down to a simmer because I don't really want it to boil. I just want it to simmer. I want those vegetables to get delicious and tender. And this meat will stay nice and moist in here. Well, as moist as it can be because it is turkey. Okay. We're going to let cover this bad boy up. And we're going to let him simmer for probably about, let's say about half hour to 40 minutes. And we'll be right back. All right, we've been bubbling away for a few minutes. I just remembered I wanted to add two more things. What happens when you film and you're not prepared? I'm going to put in one bouillon cube. Because sometimes when you use meat that's not on the bone, you don't get that really deep, intense flavor, especially with turkey, as I said. <laughs> sometimes if you had some tur turkey bones, it would be good. So I got this tip from Rachel Ray. She always uses, if you, or if you have stock, use stock. I don't happen to have any stock right now, so I'm just going to throw a little bouillon in there. And she always uses, like they said, a little bit of stock would be perfect if you had it. Chicken stock, turkey stock, whatever stock you have will work. Not much or beef would, but like a little bit of that. And a little bit of crushed red pepper flake. Again, if you don't like things spicy, you can leave it out. But let me tell you something. A little teaspoon of this. Between your hands, Rachel Ray told me that too. Always crush your herbs. It adds a little something, something in your your uh, pasta sauces and stuff. It does. It gives them a little bit of a depth. Same thing with the bouillon and the or the stock. Definitely adds a little bit of a depth of flavor. And you can see this is a pretty thick sauce. So we've only added four points of oil. Now four points for this. You're not gonna eat this whole entire tub. I <laughs> mean pan. You're just not. That's all we've used. The turkey was zero, the vegetables were zero, the tomatoes were zero, the little bit of paste I used was zero. So technically it's four points for this sauce if you count the olive oil. I'm a rebel. I don't count my oil. But we are going to uh, let this cook again. Like I said, I'll be back to show you. When it's cooked down, we'll taste it. Okay, this sauce has been simmering for about an hour and a half. I did add a little bit more water, maybe about, I'd say a half cup. And I did increase the seasonings a little bit because when I tasted it, I thought it wasn't quite strong enough. So I added another teaspoon of sage, no, poultry seasoning, and yeah, about a half a teaspoon of sage, and I and some a little bit of basil and some dried parsley because I like to have a little bit of green flecks in there. You can see it. There we go. And my water is boiling, so I'm going to add my pasta. All right, the sauce is done, my pasta is done, and here is my portion. I am having three ounces for six points with a heaping, heaping helping of sauce. Doesn't look bad. So it's six points on the green. No, I'll come back and tell you what it is when I taste. All right, let's taste this bad boy. Let's just taste the sauce because we don't know what the pasta tastes like. You see how much it made? A crap ton. 
Mind you, it's not beef. It's turkey. But it's decent. My family enjoys it. And the vegetables, the, the carrots really mellow out the tomatoes. So if you're not putting carrots in your sauce, you need to. Mmm. I give it 8 out of 10 dishes. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little turkey bouillonnaise. I know I certainly did. Now the points are pasta, of course. I have, I had six points of pasta. I had three ounces, which was six points on this Ronzoni 150. And the sauce is the same on blue and purple, and you'd have to count the turkey on green. I'm not really sure what that would be. But I'd have to count the sauce, so win-win in my book. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell if you want to know additional uploads. Hope you enjoyed this little foray into turkey bouillonnaise. Maybe next time when we'll I have a beef bouillonnaise. Ooh. Yeah, we'll have the written um, recipe up on the blog, hopefully, because I did adjust things. Like I said, I'm not used to cooking for you guys. I don't usually measure, so... Um, I'm getting better so I will have it up there you can go up and um, it'll be in the description box below the link over to the dish with the at blogspot.com I think it is so I put my recipes up there in case you want to print them and uh, thanks again for joining this other ep another episode of dish with D in the kitchen <laughs> crazy stuff thanks